Hey everyone, Manuel here, and in today's video we're gonna be doing a bit of street photography with my buddy Cynthia. And I say a bit because originally this video was meant to be more about exploring these abandoned tunnels that she had read about online, but that ended up being a bust, so here we are with option number two, which also went sideways. To make things interesting, I'm gonna be using a single roll of Ektar 100 with my Pentax 645 and sharing all 15 shots. I'll also be including a select few from Cynthia on her Canon T5i. I would label our shots, but all hers were edited to be black and white, so you should be able to tell the difference. I also packed light for this shoot using my GoPro and cell phone for footage, so apologies for the lack of B-roll, but stick around and we'll talk a bit after the video. What I have to say at the end is probably more important than the actual shoot. I'm not saying that to be clickbaity, but we're living in some weird times. One last note, this was filmed before the whole CV situation, so don't come for me for going out. I'm just trying to provide some normalcy amongst all this chaos. Yeah, it is another edit, but don't worry, I am working on that Nikon F100 review that'll hopefully be out by next week, unless I, you know, need another week to edit. In the meantime, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, despite this uh, less than enthusiastic intro. But enough undercutting today's video, let's just uh, watch it. We had intended to start the day by exploring these tunnels, but following the directions just led us to this hallway. It looked run down, but it wasn't much of a mood for me. And since I had already loaded the Ektar onto the Pentax, I knew I couldn't get any shots without it being a blurry mess. So it was off to plan B, Union Station. I pretty much screwed myself out of a lot of these shots by starting the day with a slower speed film. Go figure. I usually prefer this in most situations, but to say 100 speed film is less than ideal for those handheld indoor shots is an understatement. However, I still tried to get the shot, though I obviously missed focused, a theme that would bleed from my channel's content onto this video. It's awesome. Although this wasn't the plan, I found the subway tunnels to be very much 
a mood. So I risked it for the biscuit, risked it for the biscuit and metered for the highlights at this one set of stairs, hoping to, you know, get something of a high key photo while retaining the shadows. But I did not. Since my light meter was giving me these crazy low shutter speeds, which were essentially too slow for me to handhold, I suggested going to the nearby Disney concert hall, hoping to find something of a more grimy scene along the way just to highlight Ektar's saturated colors. But instead I got really crappy lighting and well, Disney. Give me some cool shots and keep walking. but mostly like people like taking pictures right here. As you can see from all these footprints right here too. Oh. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> this thing's upside down. How did this happen? Come on. Come on. And straighten out. Right now, please. Yeah, there you go. Around here is when my GoPro also decided to die, which didn't really help with the morale very much at this point, uh, but too stubborn to call it a wash. And despite not saying anything really fit my style at the time, I decided to just shoot some portraits of Cynthia with whatever I had left on the roll. So if I had to pick my first mistake in this video, it was that I shot film. Just kidding though, unless. My first mistake is even posting this video at all. As I said last week, I've been wanting to recreate some past misses that I felt had potential, but this video doesn't make the case for that at all. These shots weren't my best, the video was just all right, and there wasn't even any unifying theme besides the forced one role in LA title. Still, I wanted to repost this to highlight that not every shot goes as planned and to share some failure on this channel because it can be disheartening watching, you know, some of these amazing photographers just get the shot every time. So in the event that all it took for me to consistently upload weekly content was this pandemic and I can finally make it to some of these great channels, you know, I wanted this to be a small reminder that even I have those kinds of days. If you are still watching and really need that street photography fix though, I do recommend one of my more uh, popular videos, link over here, where uh, Cynthia and I once again hit the streets, except this time things went uh, very well despite not going as planned. I know it, I know it's an older video, but if you do venture into it, please feel free to drop a like and a comment. I do still read those and respond uh, despite it being an older video. Hopefully I do get to do more content like that once this all becomes uh, nothing but a memory. Before we end this video though, I do want to talk about the more important thing I mentioned at the beginning. Um, if you only care about photography though, you should click away or find something else because uh, you know, I just, I just really need to vent. And despite knowing that this would probably be its own video, I'm not really ready because it makes it more real. And I don't think I'm ready for it to blow up in case it does. As some of you may know, I am uniquely affected by this pandemic given that I'm an EMT who works the front lines. And as such, despite my efforts to, you know, stay in my room between shifts, I am very literally running the risk of bringing the shit home and infecting my loved ones. So there is no two week lockdown for me. Every day back from a 24 hour shift is day one. And I'm not saying that to inspire any sympathy because honestly, it all feels hollow. People will thank me for my service when it's just a job I signed up for and then go off to elect politicians or vote in policies that directly screw me over. 
And that is as much a criticism of Trump with his ass on hands approach to this pandemic as it is the company I work for reusing N95s without being transparent about their sanitation procedures. Not to completely flame them because the CDC is saying they can be reused, but it's not ideal. And the fact that my company is going for that instead of just applying or providing fresh N95s each time is really concerning, especially because they've been caught twice sending out used ones. And though that could be a mistake, it's again, really concerning. I realized what I signed up for along with many other medical professionals, and I don't want to speak for them, but again, we did not expect our own, you know, industry to fail us like this. So the sad truth is despite all those issues, I am still one of the luckier ones because we still have those N95s compared to doctors and nurses elsewhere that are being forced to use bandanas or basic surgical masks. So much for making America great again. Obviously I can bitch and moan about how this could have been prevented like many others and I'd, I'd be right. But I care more about what happens now and what I see as this administration after months of downplaying the pandemic further compound the damage by hoarding ventilators as federal property, making states fend for themselves, and then banning companies like 3M from shipping supplies to our neighbors up north. That alone is such a slap in the face to a country that on 9-11, when planes were flying into buildings, allowed flights to be diverted to their airports to help remove any potential damage that would happen. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. You can go ahead and look it up. It's called Operation Yellow Ribbon. And if that's too far in the past for you to care, remember last month, Trump attempted to buy the rights to a possible vaccine from a German company, from a German company after having lied about dissolving the pandemic team in 2018. And still, I see the public isn't anywhere near as angry as it should be. But why should I be surprised when Republicans by and large are content with bemoaning big government while protecting a literal tyrant whose incompetence now has a body count? Meanwhile, Democrats are more than happy to be running on a platform of returning to normal without addressing the flaws that are in our system that CV has highlighted in all this mayhem. I realize nobody follows film YouTubers for politics and the fact that I keep flying face first into these topics probably hurts me more than these inconsistent uploads, but I'm nervous about how this will turn out for my family and I. And the last thing I'd want to happen is for my whole life to fall apart, die in poverty because I couldn't afford medical treatment or because hospitals ran out of ventilators, then have this company feign some sympathy while asking the public for donations. And so I continue to talk about it exactly because I knew in situations like this that were once considered inconceivable would affect me. So the people downplaying the situation with this whole mentality of it doesn't affect me or so what if I get it? I don't. I don't have a nice way of saying it, get, get fucked. I am nowhere near saying, and I'm not saying I don't have these selfish tendencies, but at the same time, even if this didn't affect me, I still don't want to see yet another medical worker die from this and have their family start a GoFundMe account just to afford the medical expenses or funeral. We deserve better than to have to risk bankruptcy just for life-saving treatment. And I think the public deserves better too. So when these Fortune 500 companies are asking people to bankroll their employees being out of work, instead of dipping into their own wealth to cover expenses, I, I think it's bullshit. And it's not, su but, it, but it's not surprising at all when you consider minimum wage is not a living wage, which more people should be mad about considering the Fair Labor Act or the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 was created with the mind that people should be able to support themselves on a minimum wage job working 40 hours a week and we all we owe all of that to unions despite how many anti anti-union videos we've seen in orientation <sighs> getting off topic but 
Obviously, I got a lot of feelings and I do want to save most of it for another video dedicated to me just going off on how EMTs and basically all other essential workers who were being looked down on before this pandemic are dealing with the world post CV and I don't know, address it more focused and intentional intentionally. But I'm resisting making that video because as dramatic as it sounds, I don't like the idea of creating a video under the idea that I might die in all of this or that my family could because that makes it real. And it's funny because, like I said, I'm afraid to admit that I'm just held up alone in my room making these videos in the event that something does happen to me. So at least there's something I could say I left behind even if it's just these shitty YouTube videos that only a few people watch. In the end, isn't that why we're all photographers? To do the impossible and free something as fluid as time itself and put it into a single frame. So expect me to continue re-editing some older videos just to bring them up to par with the footage. But if all goes well, I should be able to release some even older content that I didn't publish for one reason or another. I just need to work out a schedule that makes sense. I guess plan for the worst and hope for the best, right? Thank you to everyone who watched this through to the end and stuck through this very vague, angry outro. Unless there's some huge development or I put out that expose style video, this should be the last time I bring this up for the while. I think what I said here is probably enough in case something does happen to me. Again, if you're still watching this, I really want you to know I appreciate you as small as a like or comment is on this channel in the grand scheme of things it it is helping me stay connected my Etsy customers are a close second though of, co of course so until the next video eat the rich